Hey there, Life Church family. Hello, everyone. We are excited to announce that we as a church are going to be reopening Yay! for in person <laughs> services. Yes. So we're, we're glad. We just wanted to give you a little bit of a run through through the building yep. to let you know that we are going to be extremely prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very much trying to follow every one of the CDC. Uh, guidelines and precautions so yes. we want you to feel comfortable that when you're ready know that we're already ready yes so. we're here so we're slowly reopening and we just wanted you to kind of know what to expect so on Sunday mornings first of all um, well before Sunday mornings we want you to go to lifechurchohio.com yes. and click on the RSVP banner and so you'll see that right when you go to lifechurchohio.com and you'll be reserving basically seats for you and your family you'll get a total number in your household for that yeah we just want that number just so we know how many to prepare for yes. to make sure that we're just doing everything we can yeah we're excited about that yeah so if you could RSVP again that description where Laura mentioned also in the description of this video would be great Mm -hmm. um, but as you were about to say, as soon as you arrive, you can park in the parking lot. Yeah. And then as you make your way in, we're going to have one door designated for Entrance. entry and then one designated for your exit. So when you first come, if you're aware, come to door B, you'll see the big old signs to enter and then you will literally enter the building. So and doors will be open, so it'll hopefully be as touchless as possible. You'll start seeing X's on the floor as well, and they're every six feet. So as people are coming in, if there's a large, you know, gathering, a large crowd, just kind of keep your household separated, and that just helps maintain social distancing. But first, you'll come to this station. And the first thing you'll see is the hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. This, I think, is one of the primary, but besides the social distancing, another primary thing we want to do to keep you safe is lots of hand sanitizing uh, in the bathrooms. Wash your hands as often as you can. That's a great thing to do. Yeah, there's also masks available here, but you probably already have your own since this is what we're doing now in our world. But if not, if you forget, we have those right here if you'd like to put those on. They are encouraged and um, so we have just some reminders for everybody's safety here. Sanitize hands often, like Mitch said. Maintain six feet social distance. You'll see those X's on the floor for that to remind you. And also wearing a mask is strongly recommended. So come on with us. So next you're going to notice we're coming into our fellowship area, the atrium, where typically we would have coffee and it's where we would gather for some fellowship. Um, but during these times, we're asking everyone just to kind of keep moving. Uh, we highly encourage you to bring your coffee. We don't want any grumpy people to show up on Sunday. Um, so yeah, bring your own coffee. And then there's also, we've got our water, bo uh, water bottle filler. You can come and you can get hydrated, bring your bottle. Um, but our main kind of thing for here is just kind of keep moving all the way into the sanctuary. Yes, so we'll keep going in and again, just have your family wait and when the next X is available, just keep moving forward and then you're going to be greeted by some ushers right here as you walk in. And again, more hand sanitizer as you come through, so keep doing that as needed. All right, and next we're going to talk with Lisa about some things in our sanctuary. So after you've sanitized a mask and you're, you're waiting to come in, we will, now's the time to enter the sanctuary. So if you want to come on in with me and we're going to talk about how things are going to happen here. So as Laura said, you'll just stay on the blue axis that are marked on the floor, keeping your household at good six foot distance. And then you'll come on into the sanctuary where you will be greeted first by an usher who will let you know which I will have one usher out in the atrium and then two on either side and he'll let you know which side to go to so the ushers can help you find your seats if you notice the rows are roped off every other so we'll be sitting every other and um, leaving three to four seats be between families so your family can sit together but um, keep three to four seats in between that and the ushers will also help you maintain those precautions and please slide down and sit on the ends of the row so people can just fill in they don't have to walk over you i know we all have our favorite seats but for this point in time we're just we're going to have to just be okay with people sort of directing us so that we can keep safe and keep everybody worshiping comfortably and then once you're in and you're seated and you're going to enjoy a wonderful service then it'll be time for dismissal and when that happens the ushers will dismiss you by row so just keep your seat and uh, wait till they come they will just dis be dismissing from the back moving forward so you'll just wait they will be very clear and let you know and that will avoid people congregating at the doors and that will just let you out um, in a nice orderly fashion and so that's what the sanctuary is going to look like and that's how the process will happen in here 
For those of you who are bringing young children with you to church, you probably know that right now we can't offer any classes, but I promise we're working very hard to get those classes open soon. And in the meantime, I've been coming up with ideas to help keep your kids occupied so that you all can enjoy church together. So you'll notice this bin here that has our busy bags in it, and you can grab one of these bags and take it with you for each of your kids to your seat, and it has activities that they can do during the service. And you can keep all of that. You don't need to return any of it. It's yours just for them to enjoy. And if they get too rowdy and you don't feel comfortable keeping them with you um, in your seat, we do have three other rooms that are open where your kids can go where the service will be streaming. You can take your kids to our crying room, which is just off the sanctuary, or you can go to our nursery or our preschool room. And all three of those rooms will have the service streaming and there's more toys and things that your kids can do. And you'll notice in our um, nursery and preschool that we have these gray bins and these are for any toys that your child plays with while you're in there so that we can properly sanitize them um, to be ready for the next service. So we hope that you will bring your kids. We would love to see them. I know I miss them all and I would love to see them and we hope that you will be able to enjoy the service together as a family with the um, plans that we put in place. Okay, and as Lisa mentioned, when you um, when the service is uh, finished, the ushers are going to be dismissing you by row from the back to the front. And so as your rows are dismissed, you're going to make your way through these doors, and you're just going to follow the blue arrows all the way through until you get outside of door C. And we do just need people to keep moving and not congregating right. here, and just make your way outside the building. You are more than welcome to fellowship outside. In fact, we encourage that. Everybody's going to be excited to see one another. So again, just make your way when you're dismissed by rows, straight out door C, and do your fellowship outside. All right, so we've made it through the service. We're heading on our way out. We're getting ready to do some fellowship outside. Again, we've got a designated door, door C, that's designated for exit. Just kind of make your way out all the way into the parking lot. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a great service. Yes, and we're excited to reopen. We want to remind you again that um, we would like for you to RSVP at lifechurchohio.com. You'll click on the banner that says RSVP for Sunday service. And that just enables us to plan and prepare and yes. make this as, as best of an experience for those that are ready to attend. But again, not everyone's ready and right. that's okay. Yeah, take so. your time. This isn't a grand relaunch where we want everybody to flood the building. We, we're gonna take this in stages. Yes. And so we want you to feel comfortable. So mm -hmm. if you are comfortable, we look forward to seeing you. If not, we've got a great online service. We do, and Again, that will continue. Yeah, right on our website, lifechurchohio.com. Um, if you have any questions, any details, wondering about the precautions, any of the information yep. we've given you, email us at info at lifechurchohio.com. Yes, so we are excited to see you either in person or online every Sunday going forward. All right. See ya. Thanks.